This is Dale Matthews. It doesn't take any talent for a newspaper to print a letter to the editor. In fact, it's the simplest job in journalism, unless your newspaper is basically dishonest. People say I'm a pessimist. No, I believe we need to give liars and cheaters a second, third, and a hundred and fourth chance. Maybe they'll surprise you. Usually, they don't. I haven't submitted a letter to the Daily Courier in years. The reason why is that they changed them. That last one, years ago, was about the county's cable TV vendor, who was playing commercials on our non-commercial government channel and pocketing the profits. But the point of that letter was about infomercials on behalf of the college. The vendor, RVTV, is a subsidiary of RCC in Ashland, and on every county government playback day, the college was advertising courses for sale. This is blatant commercialism, paid for by taxpayer dollars. So I wrote a letter to the editor pointing out that RVTV is running infomercials on our county cable channel, and I think that's improper. The courier didn't like that. They rewrote my letter to read, RVTV is running programs on our county cable channel, and I think that's improper. RVTV was being paid to run programs, so people asked me, what's your problem? That doesn't make any sense. Well, I said, you can thank the Daily Courier for that. Here comes the optimism. Maybe the Courier is capable now of simply printing a letter. Maybe they can be honest about it. I wrote a letter, just a list actually, of important stories that the Courier hasn't shown any interest in covering. I called Dennis Roller and he promised not to change the title or the content of my letter. Never again, right? So the first thing he did was change the title. My title they promised not to change was Direct Quotes That Haven't Been Sanitized for Your Protection. That changed to Readers Can Measure Story Value Themselves. My title was a criticism of the courier's lack of news sense. Can't tolerate that. Crossed out. The letter started this way. Important local stories are sometimes deemed, quote, not news, close quote, by the courier. They took out the quotes, even though those words are directly from Dennis Roller. Can't tolerate that. Crossed out. I referred to the newspaper as The Courier. They changed that to The Daily Courier. It was my letter and my point. You can call it the hourly courier if you insist, but it is no longer a daily newspaper. Can't tolerate that. Crossed out. Anyway, I know I'm not the only one to whom this has been done, with or without worthless promises to be fair, but I can talk back, which I have done here. Here is my actual letter, thank you very much. Direct quotes that haven't been sanitized for your protection. Important local stories are sometimes deemed not news by the courier. I disagree, and here is how to judge for yourself. Google the following local stories using the quotes, or go to badcounty.com, a website without commercials. How to charge county fees for a whole year without a public hearing. And why bother with a vote? Commissioner Walker is slated to be the chair for next year. And... Swift claims he doesn't know what the levy is and that he never said anything about it. And, Hare offended by descriptions of poverty says rich residents are misunderstood. And, The embarrassing report that disappeared and then never existed. And, Hare says Josephine County has more open government than anywhere else in the world. And, Bankrupt Golf Resort vows to block sewer district if it proceeds without them. And, Hare says citizens probably should not voice their opinions about the election. And, what happened to the tens of thousands spent on emergency infrastructure? And, county revealed to be exaggerating ordinance problem by 4,400%. And, Walker promised to stop attending SOS meetings after being elected. And, Hare accuses sheriff of padding budget, then swears he didn't. And, Heck says he's not quite sure of the reason for the Pledge of Allegiance. And, veterans led to believe Levy will also keep Vets' office open. And, Heck warns, 
Let's not tell anyone about our new plan for a bond levy. Dale Matthews. P.S. We no longer need to depend on the courier or the rotary radio station to protect us from our own local news stories. Citizens can decide for ourselves what's important.